Hey, Tupaluku, Thomas here with another episode of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty, playing on the Brutal difficulty. Last we left off, we completed the mission Cutthroat, where we decrypted the adjutant for, um, that we got on the Great Train Robbery, you know, helping Matt Horner. And right now we are kind of at a crossroads. I want to complete one more mission before we go to Zill, because I am going to use a strat that is super easy for Brutal. Um, it is a bit cheesy. I'll go through all the different strats when I get there. We need to complete one mission, and we either have to go to Haven to um, help Ariel Hansen or to Valhalla, the top secret Dominion Research Center. And I think we're going to do Valhalla first. It is a mission where two upgrades are really useful uh, if you do have trouble with Valhalla. The automated refinery is really good because you need Vespian gas, and the cellular, re cellular reactor which gives 100 starting energy and 100 max energy for the wraiths. Uh, really good on that particular mission. But we're going to give it a go. Uh, maybe we'll get thrashed. It's not optimal to do that right now, but I don't want to do Haven right now, so Valhalla it is. Valhalla is a top-secret Dominion research center hidden on a small moon orbiting Sigmaris Prime. Hundreds of vehicles and weapons systems have undergone final testing here, including the Viking multi-role combat walker and the miniature class Balcruiser, two uh, units that we will be getting. Actually, we'd unlock the Viking right here, but no. The decrypted adjutant contains records proving Manx ordered the massacre on Tarsonis. Now we just need to broadcast those records. Mirahan gave us a tip that might help. The Dominion is unveiling a new war machine called the Odin on Core Hall. If we hijack the Odin, we can use it to gain access to the UNN studios and broadcast the records of Manx's war crimes. The Odin is currently in the testing facility on Valhalla. So all very Norse themed, along with the Thors that derive from the Odin. So yeah, the, the text blurb here, you know, Rebel Five Man Ideals, the Hyperion's finest officer. No, first officer, he's requesting they undertake this selective mission. I mean, that's the same text blurb as before, so I'm assuming that they do not update, unfortunately. So we're going to steal the Odin, we're going to get a bunch of money, some Zerg research, and we're going to unlock the Wraith. Another StarCraft 1 unit. Our team's in position. We're ready to steal the Odin. Are you absolutely sure about this, sir? Yep. Tychus is definitely our best man for this kind of job. He does get a little excited in combat. I need to keep up with him once the fighting starts. And if he can actually commandeer the Odin, it's vital that we take out all the Dominion bases in the area. Hopefully we can block all transmissions long enough for him to do that. We can't risk word of this getting back to Core Hall. How much do we know about this Odin? It's an experimental super heavy siege walker designed for prolonged frontline combat. Very powerful. Great. Even Tychus can't wreck it then. Here they go. Go, go, go! Alright. So as I said, the Wraith is another StarCraft 1 unit that no longer exists in StarCraft 1. StarCraft 2 multiplayer. We're gonna stem up real quick. This ain't a stealth mission anymore, ladies. Bring it loud and Trying to not lose any of our Marines. Oof, it's gonna be close. Ah, we lost the Marines. It's not the end of the world. If I was playing this in single player, I'd probably restart at this point, but we're not going. Uh, sir, you seem to have found something very interesting there. If you can bring me a sample in the lab, that would be great. Oh, you ain't keeping me from that monster. Oof. Almost died there. Maybe we'll have to restart whether we want it to or not. I think we're fine. Wow. Okay, this did not go great, but we're just gonna go with it. Stem. Okay, good. And he's fine. And we got a devourer sample. Down. 
Can you read me? He's got it stuck on transmit, sir. He can't hear us at all. Defenses are coming online at the Dominion bases. Wonderful. Get our base set up ASAP. We'll just have to follow him in and hope he doesn't get too crazy. So yeah, we're going to need to build up our economy quick. There are some resource pickups right here. We're going to get a starport soon. So basically, we're going to be getting raids, uh, probably a second bunker, um, some marines for the bunkers, and then uh, upgrades. That's, that's basically it. Alright, we're back. Um, I kind of messed up with the rates. We are going to attempt this again, and I will be liberally using uh, saves because this is kind of a tricky mission without some of the research. So you might see this a lot. That just means that I messed up and I'm reloading here so you don't have to see the whole tortured, uh, <laughs> tortured playthrough where I just lose again and again. Go ahead. So we're going to get some of those. SCVs are under attack. I need to quickly put that there. Attack formation. What I need to do is I need to quickly take out the Raven. back <laughs> I will admit that I have restarted this mission a few times right now it's not going that well I think I'm trying to be a bit too um, fancy uh, when what I need to do is I need to build Ravens quick um, gonna keep getting minerals Sir, I'm picking up Dominion battle cruisers on an intercept course with the Odin. Hey, Hotshot, you want these Wraith fighters now? They'll take down a battle cruiser easy. You can build more to stop for. Go ahead, command. So we're taking that out, and then we're going to be taking out the next. Getting an attached tech lab. We're going to be able to put one SCV in there. We keep continuously getting. Um, I'm actually going to salvage this. So I can get bunkers right here. So what's the plan now, Commander? Trash them bases, right? I will probably have to salvage those in the future, but right now... can you hear me? I actually want this to take as long as it can take, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Because I need enough wraiths to take out the, um, what do you call it, the battle cruisers and the Raven at the next mission. So that's the problem right now. There is a Raven that is giving me a lot of grief. Um, we need to keep collecting minerals. I need the war pigs and the hammer securities. So yeah, he's good to go. Is having some issues with that. What's going on? But we're gonna repair him. So he, he can be taken out just by the first base. Kind of shows how squishy he is. I mean, this Odin is supposed to be the, the ultimate weapon, and yet yeah, he's getting his ass beat. We're gonna repair him up to like maybe a thousand, I think, and then we're gonna back off just in case. Yeah, we cannot job, lose any more SCVs, that should be fine. We hear you. Let them continuously fight. Our allies Get the war pigs, we need supply depots. Well, I think this is going better, we have way more time to uh, build up. Continue to get not enough SCVs. Minerals. <laughs> not enough minerals. Go Our allies are being attacked. 
Yeah, we do have a Wraith Q. That's good. See, he's doing fine. Once this base is taken out, I'm gonna save. Um, Man, I need SCPs to fix some of this damage. Starting to feel a mite sluggish. Does he always talk this much, sir? Yeah, but once you get him in a fight, he never shuts up. I really need a armory. Well, now that's done with. I'm gonna get take some more marines. Good thing I brought me some liquid So I'm gonna be saving here. And uh, conducting a delicate operation. Maybe it will go amazing. Probably will not. So we're going to head here. Then here, here, here. Standing by. Control 1. Actually, we're going to save again. Roger. Coordinates received. Coming from this angle. I'm actually going to be wiping these out because there is a raven here somewhere. There he is. Okay, we're actually good to go. We'll be able to wipe out the battle uh, to Get the save again, just in case there is a second Raven. This is already going better. Up, oh, there is something here. Oh, I lost the Raven. That's right. I lost the energy. So we're going to be wiping out the. Um, so call we'll the siege command. tank, decloak, get some more wraiths, Go ahead. get Our these to build a, um, Not enough what do you call it, a command What's center. Hopefully we'll survive. Doesn't look like it. Head back there, repair them. <laughs> Where does it hurt Maybe you, get Ray? the medics. To heal up the SCVs. I actually think we're fine. Um, Odin's shutdown is imminent, apparently. Oops. Oh, don't die. Take these out, and I'll be able to repair you again. And there we go. Now the SCVs are healed up. The these are healing Tychus. I think we're fine, actually. That's really good. We have another uh, command center. Gonna fly this on over there. Oh, we were attacked here and I didn't even Go notice. Ahead. Shows you how strong the bunker is. Gonna get some hammer securities. Okay. Flashy red button. What do you do? Tychus is turned on by the destruction. A lot more than so I want to get the ship weapons upgrade now. In. I think I'm honestly good to go. Um, I'm going to get some... Yeah, no, I'm going to be getting the... Uh, what's it called? The... Uh, Refineries right now. I'm actually gonna take these SCVs, transport them over here. Will do. Break the waiting orders. This will be our little repair crew. And I'm gonna need to build some bunkers over there, but that'll be fine. So right now our mineral income is abysmal. Reckon you boys will need some time to catch but, up. You know. I think we're actually good to go. We'll repair that. We'll be continuously Old pumping out rates. Right um, we got our. Just wake me up when y'all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, that was not great. They apparently take offense to us not trying to uh, claim this base. I have no idea what that is. Can you bring me a sample in the lab? Maybe something good will come of it. So I think we're fine. Maybe. 
Oof, they're coming with more forces. Not good. Not good at all. I really hope that we're not gonna get completely trashed. I'm actually gonna salvage that. Grab my race. Take out the bunker right here. That's fine, I think. Take out the siege tank right here. I believe there might be a... Let's save just in case. So I'm kind of taking out the siege tanks. Time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. I should be taking this out so they cannot build any more siege tanks in my opinion. There is a missile turret here somewhere. Not quite sure where it is, but the goal anyway is to That should be fine. Actually, I think good to go. Additional supply Yeah, there is a. Um, What's going on? Roger. Valkyrie's right there. But it looks okay. Yeah, no, we have enough rates to where I think we're good to go. Yeah, there is a missile turret somewhere here. We're gonna decloak. And we do have a bunch of pieces right there. Yeah. I think we're all good to go. Get the other ship upgrades, another rate. Gonna get some more minerals. So we actually have a lot of minerals now. Uh, just in case, I'm going to get a few bunkers right here. We're going to stock them full with marines. We're going to get the Spartan Company. So I actually think we're in a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good spot right now. Um, we're going to fly them back here. Have them join up with our forces. Yeah, I think we actually managed to complete this mission. It took us a few restarts. Um, and some liberal saving. Okay, we're actually going to have to save the item right there. Oh, shit. I swear to God. Take out the siege tank. Take out the siege tank. Come on. Oh, it's so close. Take two more shots, and it's oh, we just barely we, we saved it. Three bases We're all down. good. Maybe the convict has his uses after all. We're all good, and we got a bunch of wraiths at this point. You know, I think I'll take me another breather. You better get some backup ready for me, Jimmy. Will do. And we have a whole slew of resource collecting units. I mean, we're doing really well right now. We're able to afford all the mercs. We're actually able to, I think, support a another starport. Going back. I think, honestly, the uh, keep getting more wraiths. Yeah, yeah, I think we're all good to go. We're gonna save one last time, just in case, because uh, we do need to take some stuff out right here. Roger. Gonna take out. I'll burn up. Take out the ghost. Or snipe. Take out the battle cruiser. The more important thing. Taking out the um, siege breaker would be a big deal. Another ghost. A banshee. Taking out the um, tech reactor will mean that there won't be any more banshees. Another uh, tank taken out. I think we're good to go when it comes to this uh, base right now. There might be some tanks in there. 
all in all, not all that fussed about it. He can take out all the ground. We're taking out all the air. Yeah, no, I think we're all good to go. We are going to take out the low key because I want to punish myself, I guess. All in all. Oh, we have a... That's too bad. That's great. We're gonna decloak. Let him charge up. We're losing SEVs. Not great. What I might do is I might just park him here. I need a tech lab. More rates. The armor upgrade is a go. Get more mercenaries. Get a tech lab here so I can get some medics. So I think the buildings there are actually taken out. So I think we're all good to go. We're gonna grab the. Hmm. Time to kick ass and shoot bubble gum. Yeah. Oh, this is actually not. Okay, that's fine. For some reason, I thought this would be a planetary fortress, and it's and not. I so mean, we're I'm all good to go. We're gonna just oh, grab a whole slew of uh, forces right there so that we can repair. Uh, minerals are almost mined out, but there is an additional base right there. I apologize for playing so, I guess, frazzledly. Is frazzledly a word? Being so frazzled while I play? Because uh, <laughs> I really want uh, the specific upgrade. You know what, we're just going to grab a bunch of... I see your little guys running around down there, Jimmy. They look like ants. Bunch of medics. Should have enough wraiths to handle them, but let's scramble a couple more just to be sure. Now that was fun. <laughs> Don't worry. Ah, for being uh. I'll give you some time to catch up. Well, I'll be ordered. Most of them in their kids really thought of everything. Bought me a moment to order. Of course, there are now. Good to go there. They're all over me. Kind of shows how dangerous the uh, they are. There we go. <laughs> you ready yet? Ah, oh, we're gonna do this one. So there are actually a bunch of uh, side from the SCVs. We're gonna put them there. Does not matter. Hmm, I wonder why they're still able to see. I guess it was the Raven? I don't know. I think we're good to go. Good to go. We lost a bunch of stuff, but that's not a real issue, I don't think. We can get some more Spartan companies. Get that there. Get that there. Yeah, we're good to go. We won. Nice. Oh, they're just shredding through the Marines. Very nice. So I think the intention is that you complete the dig as like your ninth or maybe tenth mission. So this mission and uh, Saving Haven or Haven's Fall are actually quite difficult. So that's why I struggled so much. But, you know, I was able to get it. We did not destroy the Loki, uh, which is a shame. With the Odin secured, we can hit the UNN complex on Core Hall and make our broadcast. Hey, you mean Captain? Maybe next time you'll trust old Tigers with a little bit of mayhem. <laughs> a 
That's about all I trust you with, Tychus. So yeah, we <laughs> we repaired the Odin. Uh, so we did let the Odin drop below 30% of his total health. We did not destroy the Loki. We repaired a bunch. I think the anniversary achievements don't repair more than like 5,000 HP, something like that. So we didn't get any of the achievements on Brutal, but we did complete it and we did get the research. And this means that the dig will be way easier. So that's kind of the trade-off. I, I would have been able to complete the dig without completing this mission. But I preferred uh, playing the dig in a certain way. Uh, so, to the detriment of having to complete this mission like that. <laughs> well, you fought real good out there, Tychus. Your time in the freezer didn't dull your edge none. Well, fear and violence always did bring out the best in me. <laughs> I have to admit, we always did make a good team. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was until I went to prison and you went legit. Right. So we unlocked some stuff at the laboratory. We're actually going to... No, we're not going to ignore it. Um... Once again, the uh, both of these aren't all that great. The Hercules we may actually use for a specific mission, maybe. Uh, the Predator, I don't think I've ever built a Predator unit. It has like these shockwave abilities that do a bunch of damage against a bunch of bio, but it's not that good. I think we're just going to get the Hercules on the off chance that we build one on the uh, Mobius Foundation mission. So it is a massive transport ship, deploys loaded troops almost instantly. Can I just... Uh, loaded troops survive if the Hercules is destroyed, built at a starport. So you know, like a medevac, if that is destroyed, the units inside die. This one, they just drops them. We have retrofitted the Hercules class cargo ship for use on the battlefield. This massive transport can carry entire armies and load them at record speeds. The Hercules will also eject survival pods if shot down. Ejected occupants will also will sustain damage, but most would agree that injury is preferable to death. Not the most important research. The Dominion is getting into some pretty advanced weapons technology, but their biological sciences are still terrible. Is that so, Mr. Hansen? Or Mrs. Hansen? Uh, the Zerg sample has developed an ocular organ. Will limbs be next? There is a basic dichotomy to Zerg cell reproduction. Type A cells throw off seemingly random mutations, and type B cells hunt down these mutations and destroy them. It's the survival of the fittest on the cellular level. Successful mutations thrive. I use microscopic scrapings from the sample to test an electrical discharge field I've been tinkering with for some time. The results were gratifying. As an interesting side effect, the Zerg matter developed into a very dense but flexible material. So I guess that's kind of the Hercules thing. The material could be used to reinforce the superstructure of those old Hercules class cargo ships. The Swan always The Swan's always trying to find a use for us. I guess there are Hercules cargo ships in the Hyperion. It shows how huge the Hyperion is. I wish there were time to both pursue the dis discharge fields and iterate on the harder matter. I doubt there will be. So yeah, that's kind of you have to choose one or the other. Uh, it would be cool if um, there was maybe a third branch or there were more options. Uh, I think there are multiple like modded playthroughs that do do this. So Swan, what are the chances we can build something like that Odin? You nuts? No way we've got the facilities for mass producing hardware on that scale. And here I was thinking you could build anything, Swan. Shoot. All right, forget the scale. I'm gonna Cute. figure it out, don't you worry. <laughs> and I'll come up with something a damn sight more practical than that showpiece. You see if I don't. I do think the Thors are actually way more practical. Uh, they're not nearly as uh, large and bulky. Um, I would imagine that the Odin is super expensive to build, so the Thors are cheap. You were actually originally supposed to be able to build uh, Odins, or the equivalent to Odins, um, in the... Uh, multiplayer so these are the upgrades i wanted uh really bad the orbital command super good 
grants the scanner sweep and call down mule abilities. And this is, you know, a thing you can build in the multiplayer. Uh, but you have to research this. All our, um, what do I call it? All of the command centers that we build will start with the orbital command. Really strong. And, uh, no, I mean, calling down mules is insanely good. And the scanner sweep is going to be used for the dig next mission, which, you know, if you know anything about the dig, you'll realize why I want it. So, ATBX now manufactures a satellite calm link that can reveal unexplored areas on the map. This calm link can also call down a mule. A mule gathers much faster than SCV and can produce major surge and mineral production. Because it is a prototype, the mule will come apart after a short period of time, but it's well worth the cost. I need that. I also want both of the upgrades for the missile turret, and then if I can afford it, we'll be getting the fire suppression system. So the Hellstorm battery. Missile turrets gain and you know what? We're gonna just menu options sound. Just gonna do that for a second. Alright. The missile turrets gain a second attack. Second attack does area damage. Hellstorm batteries are an additional weapon set that can be fitted to your missile turrets. Each battery fires several small missiles that accompany the standard missile attack and saturate the target area on impact. Hellstorm batteries are a great way to welcome swarms of enemy flyers to your base. They, they, they don't disappoint. This is a good upgrade regardless of uh, the path of the all-in or you choose, but I mean, it is obviously very good for the uh, flyer version because i mean it's it's good for the dig it's good for a bunch of missions okay titanium housing missile turrets gain 75 percent life which is i think an increase of 50 percent really good and lion dynamics has developed a new titanium housing for the missile turret early adopters have found this housing to be noticeably tougher than the original allowing missile turrets to absorb more punishment before failing oh we can not actually afford this okay fire suppression system all structures repair themselves to 50% life. All structure fires automatically put out. So before, when buildings uh, got into a fire situation, they'd burn down. That's been removed. And they will slowly repair themselves. But it is pretty slow. So, And it's only at 50% life. So you still need SCVs to repair heavy-duty bunkers. But it can be the difference between life and death. And it does stack, I believe, with the SCV repair. So it's definitely worth it. And it actually completely takes out all our money. This all-in-one safety system automatically dispatches robotic drones to put out any fires and perform basic repairs on damaged structures. Although these drones are effective at doing basic repairs, they do not have a strong enough AI to perform the more delicate repairs needed to restore a structure past half-life. Very good stuff. Now, what I could do if we had another strategy, or if I had not done the, uh, the 12th mission, Valhalla, before I had not unlocked this, is I could have gotten this. Cloak no longer requires energy. So the dig has basically three main strategies. I'll go in more into detail next time. Uh, but one of them is stacking uh, invisible units like the specters or ghosts on choke points so the Protoss units cannot get through. Uh, the other one is just playing it the good old fashioned way. And the final one is destroying the buildings. So we're gonna be destroying the buildings uh, and we're gonna use scanner sweeps to do it, which will make it super easy. Uh, let, let's talk with Matt Wood first. Matt needs a hobby. Sir, when Tychus came back aboard the ship, I had the techs run a scan on him. Matt, you need to get That's a hobby. That's what I said. Seriously, sir. <laughs> His suit contains a sophisticated transponder. If it receives the correct code, it'll shut down all his major organs. That suit is a death trap. He's got a gun to his head. And who's got their finger on the trigger? Mobius? Tychus, what have you gotten yourself into? All right, we're going to head to the bar and talk to Tychus. So how does the Odin raid as a fighting machine? Brother, it is the single greatest creation in the history Elvis of mankind. almost died five times. Striding around and dispensing righteous fury just about brought a tear to my eye. You just let me know when I can take it out for another spin. You'll get your chance soon enough, old buddy. Don't you worry. All right, what does Tosh have to say? Ever wonder why minks don't just send him ghosts to kill you? You've been a thorn in his side for a long time. Assassinating me just turned me into a martyr. 
<laughs> He'd never be rid of me then. He needs to kill my reputation first. Very good. You think clearly despite your hate for him. Of course, his patience has got limits too. Tread careful, Mr. Rena. Someone on this ship is already working for Minsk. I can feel it. So it's one of those things where, yeah, that is, I guess, technically true, but Mengsk is ruthless, and he doesn't really care what people think. And Raynor is such a dangerous threat that I'm surprised he hasn't taken him out. Now, I will say that he has kind of been sitting on his ass for a few years, and he's only been getting really active in the latest surge of time, or the latest, like, time frame. So up until this point, Raynor was maybe not that much of a threat. Um, there is also a story element that will come at the end of this mission that Minx may know about, might be planning for, and that's why he's letting Raynor live. You know, Raynor taking out a big threat for the Dominion is worth him being a bit of a nuisance. This is Kate Lockwell reporting from UNN headquarters on Core Hall. Let's go to Donnie Vermillion on special assignment. Kate, I'm very pleased to be talking to General Horace Warfield. General, I understand that Dominion forces will soon be showing off their newest weapon, the Odin War Machine. <laughs> That's correct, Donnie. We'll show the Odin on the streets of Core Hall itself, with full coverage from your fine network. General, Kate Lockwell here. I've heard rumblings about some sort of logistics trouble with the Odin's debut. Now, Kate... It's true, Kate. The Odin was delayed in shipping, and we briefly lost communication with the production facility. But it arrived safely, so we can go ahead with the unveiling. You heard it here first. The Dominion unveiling new weapons of destruction on the streets of Core Hall. What is wrong with that woman? <laughs> Tell her not to interrupt my interviews! Yeah, Donnie is a Your bit of a drama queen. Actually pulling this off. You gotta say, I'm mighty impressed. Alright, I think that's everything. So next mission, as I said, will be the dig. Um, and we're going to do it in a special way. Uh, but that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. Take care now.